What's up guys? Thank you so much for being here. So today I just wanted to do a quick video about these Peak Design anchor links that I just got in the mail and why I think that they're literally one of the simplest things that you can get to make your photography and video life just so much more enjoyable and efficient and for just 20 bucks. So let's go ahead and open the package and I'll tell you guys why these are so cool. And real quick, I think it's pretty cool how they put uh, actual piece of their cord that they use for the links on top of this. Um, it's not like you're actually going to carry it around by that cord, but it's just a cool little touch. And the door is nice as well that you can open it up and then it just kind of snaps shut. So cool packaging, but it's not like I'm going to keep it. <laughs> okay, so I got all the pieces out of the packaging and it actually comes with a little Peak Design sticker, which is pretty cool. Might stick that on a case of some sort. And then it's got some instructions here and also just a little bit of information. It tells you to replace them if the cordage ever turns yellow because that means that you've gotten to like the second layer of the cord. And I assume that that would only happen after tons and tons of heavy use. Maybe having a really big camera on there would wear it down faster but these have a lifetime warranty from what I've read. So the way these work and what they do is that they allow you to like quick detach your camera from your strap and put it onto something else quickly, like almost instantly, um, without having to like undo the strap and loop it through and all, all that takes forever. So what you do is that you, as you can see, it comes with, let me take the little links off, but it comes with two of the adapters so you would put this onto your camera strap and those are just never going to go anywhere. They're just going to stay attached to the end of your camera strap and you can see right there you would loop it on. And then you've got the two links, which it actually comes with four, which is really nice. But what you do with this is you attach this to your camera. So you loop this through the little small loops on your camera, the little metal loops on each side. And if you don't have that, it comes with little metal loops that you can attach to it. But once these are attached to your camera, then you take the strap and whenever you want to put it on your strap, you just slide it like that and it's on there. And then to take it off, you just put some pressure down with your thumb and they come right off and go back on, off. The reason that's so game changing is because now I didn't really used to understand. I used to see people had these on their cameras when I was watching a lot of YouTube before I really got into like photography and making videos and YouTube and all that kind of thing. I thought that these weren't really gonna be something that I was gonna need because I thought I would just do everything handheld um, or I would just keep it on a tripod, like a little gorilla pod that I have that I would take for doing small day trips or traveling or going downtown or whatever. But then I went to Europe and I traveled around and we went to like three different countries in just like eight days. And so there was a lot of like, we got to get to the next place because we only have so much time in each country. And so we're just like going, going, going. What I found myself doing is I would literally like pass up on what I thought could be a good picture because I didn't want to take it off my camera strap and put it on a tripod and do all this stuff. And you're probably wondering, well, why don't you just take off the whole strap with the camera and put it on the tripod and it's not a big deal. And in most cases, it's not a big deal until you're like waking up really early in the morning before the sun comes up and you're on like the side of a mountain trying to get a shot that you want to do a long exposure and your strap is attached to the camera and it's windy and all of a sudden like the wind is blowing the strap around and then that creates some motion and so then it kind of causes some problems when you're trying to do a long exposure picture because it's kind of shaking the camera because the strap is flowing in the wind. It'd be nice if I could just take the whole strap off. Oops. But then where it really, really became an issue is when I got a gimbal because if you've ever seen the way a gimbal works, it, let me just grab my gimbal and I'll show you guys. So this is what the gimbal looks like that I use. It's the DJI. SC, so it's a smaller one, works perfect with my A6600 camera that I use. Basically, the camera goes right here, and then this thing will rotate and it keeps the camera steady. But it can rotate in all kinds of directions, like all around the camera, 
in this direction. And so anyways, it can really cause some issues with the strap if it's on there and you're going underslung and left and right and all around because you can really get it all tangled up if you've got a big old camera strap on there. Then it really started to affect like my decision making on, oh, well, this would look 10 times better on the gimbal, but now I don't wanna take it off the camera strap and put it on the gimbal. Or then I take it off the camera strap to put it on the gimbal, but then I don't wanna like take it off the gimbal because I don't wanna just carry it around by hand and then now I'm carrying this big old gimbal. Obviously there's ways to work around it and I, that's what I've been doing, but if you really wanna save time and just be more efficient and not end up passing up on cool shots that you could have gotten because you were just too lazy to take the strap off and put it on the gimbal or do whatever. Well, with these little guys, it's just gonna make that decision so much quicker and easier to make because obviously it's not a problem anymore. If you're worried about these little things not being able to hold your camera, if you've got like a bigger camera, unless you have a camera that weighs like 200 pounds, you're good because that's the limit on these. It says 200 pounds of force is what these cords can handle. And these are a proven design that they've been making for a while. Tons of guys use them and they've all said positive things about them. And so for me, if these bigger and better video guys can say that they've used these and I know the cameras they use are much bigger than the camera I use and they can trust them with their gear, then I'm gonna have no issue doing the same thing. Plus, like I said, they're only 20 bucks and it comes with four links and two of the adapters. So you put the adapters on your camera strap and then you have four links so you can put two of them on one camera and then two on another. That way, if you have two cameras and you wanna be able to like switch between which one you're carrying with you but you don't wanna have to put the links on the other one or do all the whole mess, you know, it comes with two. And if you need to buy extra, they also sell them separately. You can just buy more links. But for the most part, I mean, people aren't gonna be switching back and forth between more than two cameras in most cases. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. And so thank you so much for watching, especially if you're still watching at this point, I really, really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos and reviews about camera gear and equipment and how to do certain B-roll and different things like that. And last but not least, if you haven't hit the like button, go ahead and hit it. It's like a really simple thing that you can do that really helps out my channel. So thank you guys so much for doing that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.